main thing I knew about Carolyn, I was in the Navy then and I didn't see them much. But uh, Don said just to say that he loves her very much still and he thinks about her every day. Carolyn and I had a great marriage. Losing Carolyn was a difficult thing. Carolyn Mackenzie Carter, a native of Moultrie, Georgia, was the first female photographer to work for the Atlanta Constitution. She graduated from the University of Georgia's College of Journalism and Mass Communication in 1940 and was hired by legendary editor Ralph McGill to work for the paper. I became interested in journalism when uh, my hometown weekly newspaper devoted two columns a week to high school news. So I worked on that and became kind of enamored of journalism. Well, both Don and Carolyn uh, attended Grady College and graduated, Don, in 1938, Carolyn in 1940. And if you know anything about photojournalism during that period, there weren't many female photojournalists in the field. And so she was a real pioneer in terms of advancing careers in visual journalism for women. During her time with the Constitution, she met Don Carter, a reporter for the rival Atlanta Journal, while they were both working on the same story. It was a story of 4-H club fat cattle show. <laughs> Lakewood. But he always likes to end his tell this story in such a way that he got the fat cow. Oh. <laughs> I was in the army and we got married in New Jersey one morning. Shortly after I had got to be a, a lieutenant instead of a private. She was a superb photographer. When I would come down every now and then from the Navy to spend the night with Don and Carolyn uh, when they were both living in Atlanta, I was always fascinated with her photographs. In 1959, Carolyn and Don moved to New York, where she worked as a freelance writer and photographer for the Georgia Department of Industry, Trade, and Travel. Carter was the first woman to be named a Master of Photography by the Professional Photographers of America. Carolyn Carter was one of the earliest uh, female photographers at, at a really high profile job at one of the leading newspapers in the country, and then later at one of the world's largest corporate brands. So she was blazing paths for women in a field that was underrepresented at that period of time. Carter traveled the world for Coca-Cola, photographing operations and employee engagement. Her work is held in the special collections at the University of Georgia, the Atlanta History Center, and the archives of the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. She flew around the world and went to all different places in South America, and she was a brilliant person. The main thing I remember is how close they were to each other in so many ways. And later on in life, they went back to the university where they'd both been involved with the red and black and, um, and were very generous. In 2004, the couple established the Carolyn McKenzie and Don Carter Professorship of Excellence in Journalism. Well, that was Don's long desire was to leave a chair to the journalism department. He did that last year. Mm -hmm and attach my name to it too. It's an iconic name within the college. The fact that there is a named professorship for the Carters keeps it really on the tip of everybody's tongue all the time. Carolyn and Don moved to Sea Island in 1982 where they retired. Carter was an early and active member on the board of trustees of the Georgia Women of Achievement and served for years in a wide variety of civic and charitable causes. In addition to her many other accomplishments, Carolyn Carter was a great promoter of the Little White House and helped to make it Georgia's most visited historic site. She was just a delightful person. She and her husband, Don, were a great team. What I remember about Carolyn is her soft, sweet, southern voice and, and her extreme modesty. That She was always kind of embarrassed when people around her would brag on her superb work. They invited me over to their house at Sea Island uh, one uh, 
Fourth of July, they had special ceremonies then for Fourth of July at their home uh, on Sea Island. And I was the main speaker one time. Carolyn Carter passed away in 2010 at the age of 91. Her legacy and her years of professional trailblazing make her a Georgia woman of achievement. And I think that women like Carolyn Carter created pathways that future women trod. Um, and it took those sorts of ceiling breakers to get it done and to show, I can do this job. Uh, I can do it as good, as, I can do it as well as any man. Well, she was a beautiful lady. And I'm so proud that you all have found a way to honor her.